Hi there, it's Carol here bringing you another video. Um, I'm not changed, well I will change it when I show you the next one, but I'm not changing this one. It's a lovely, I've used the die punch and the die stamps, and it's a little gift using the envelope punch board. I've managed to get two chocolates in here, which is quite cute, and a magnet clasp. I've, I've put, I've stuck the for your kindness there and you can't see it because the daisy's in the way so I'm going to put it up there so it saved me having to do and I'm going to cover that up as well there you go right actually what we'll do is we'll get a tiny this is the half inch and we will get some any spare, some spare DSP we will just punch one of those out and while we're here if you just shake your tombow a little bit more will come out look there you go put that on there that covers up your magnet and it'll still work Okay, we'll leave that to dry for a second and we'll get on. So you need your envelope punch board. Now, I haven't got a card. I don't want to make a card. So I went for paper size. So I measured the chocolates um, and what I wanted the little envelope for. So I'm going with five by five. So five by five, you need to score at two. So here's my piece of DSP. I used that side last time, so I'm going to use this side this time. So put it up to two inches, make sure it's along here. Punch and score. There's a groove in there that you can follow and score down here. Turn it, and what I did was then, I ignored the two inches, and I went with the school line I just did, lined it up with this little notch here, punched and scored. And I just carried on lining it up with that score line, punching and scoring. And that's it. How simple is that? Right, let's put that away. So all I did was fold this. As you can see, I've got bits of glue everywhere. I'm videoing at the moment. So I'm in the middle of um, project after project trying to get as much done as I can um, I'm hoping to go into hospital and have a new knee soon so hang on I have to go the chocolates let me go and get them this is a bag of chocolates I bought yesterday when I was out with my friend and these fit just nicely look bring those over bring that down covered love it right so what i did was i've got some glue dots i love our glue dots and i put one there oh don't want to touch it you see because i don't want to take the stickiness off it one there and one there then i've got the chocolates Put those down, brought that over, pressed it down. There you go. It's as easy as that. Now, for your magnet, okay, for your magnet, I've got little magnets here on my desk. I keep them because I did move them and put them away somewhere and now I can't find them. So <laughs> I've got a stash of these magnets somewhere and I haven't got a clue where they are. Right, what I want to do then is separate them, put a glue dot on one of them. See, and it automatically wants to go to my metal tweezers, brush it. So, put that one there. Okay, now the other one needs to, there you go. Okay, so if I take it off. No, I've got to put the glue top on that side. Can you believe this didn't happen when I was camera, camera 
when I was camera when I was doing the samples close it again let it go to where it wants to okay there you go right so what we're going to do is cut another one of these out half inch inch put it on there okay cover that up and the magnet will still work then you need your daisy so bring your daisy daisy delight stamp set so i've used the daisy and i've used for your kindness now before because it had lots of different colors in it so i used powder pink and i used daffodil delight i'm still going to use daffodil delight because i want my daisy to be yellow i don't know why i just do so Stamp one there, one there. Now, instead of powder pink this time, that green is more I'm going to use hmm, tranquil tide, I think. Yes, so it will be a lot darker this time. It was a bit light last time, which I didn't actually mind, but. So, a little bit of cardstock for your kindness. Okay. And that one's Tranquil Tide. Then you get the long, thin label punch, and you just punch one of those get the daisy punch and punch out. it's really simple to line them all up when you're happy there you go okay so what i did before was i just moved them like that i just nothing fancy i just would flick them with my fingers gave them a bit of dimension that was it stuck some glue on that one and just now this i noticed didn't sit very well it sat very rigid and the envelope is quite curved so if you bring in your bone folder and do that but actually it's the other way so i'm going to try and just do this a little bit it's just trying to get it to curve really it's a bit too there you go that will be perfect yeah I'm trying to put my lid on there I swear I'm going crazy right bring that in now this time I'm going to be clever and I'm going to put it up here okay and as you can see, it's fitting that a lot better. I can't even see the other one. And then the daisy can just have a blob there and be stuck on. Now, the centre of the daisy, I used glitter enamel dots. I used the biggest one available i'm gonna put it in the center okay now that looks much better than that one this that one's moved up more but the sentiment isn't lost i suppose when they open it for your kindness will be there and that's okay 
I suppose, yeah, that's a nice little surprise, I suppose. Trying to make it <laughs> make myself feel better. But for your kindness, it's on the top. This isn't quite dried yet. The daisy's still moving. So I hope you like that little project. It's really cute, simple. Only takes a piece of 5x5. Five so if you've got 12 by 12 DSP, you can get four four little gifts out of there. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give these to yet, but we will see. So I hope you've enjoyed the project. Take care. Bye.